Coach, first spring, uh, 11 practices in. What's it been like adjusting to the new role? That's been great. It's been great. I have a great group of guys um, who, who come every day willing to learn, uh, willing to get better and play hard and practice hard and accept coaching. So they make the transition really, really smoothly. And having a great staff, right, offensive staff is phenomenal, led by Coach Gleason. So, um, and then obviously the leader of the program, Coach Yano, all those guys have been helpful in this transition. So uh, very privileged in that regard. So two uh, transfers, Taj Harris and Sean Ryan. I mean, what have you seen from them and how, kind of how have they fit into the uh, program so far? Those guys have been phenomenal. Um, again, talked about uh, guys who come in and wanting to work hard and um, wanting to accept coaching each and every day. Those guys fall right in line, and um, they've transitioned really, really smoothly into the group. And our guys who have been here have welcomed them with open arms. What was it like when Coach Hano tells you you're going to get the bump up to wide receivers coach? And just what was, what was your reaction, just that moment? What was it like for you? Yeah, super, super excited, super elated. Um, again, having the opportunity to uh, be on staff with Sean Gleason and work under him. He's got an extensive track record of, of, of great offenses. And then being able to be in a coaching role under Coach Yano, um, we know the success that he's had as a head coach and the people he's groomed and mentored to go on and be successful, either coordinators or head coaches. So really, really honored, really, really blessed. And most importantly, the young men um, in this receiver group. I mean, phenomenal, phenomenal young men. And I've had the chance to get to know those guys over the past two years, being as though my uh, last role, director of player uh, development, I spent a lot of personal time with those guys. But now being able to ch have a chance to help those guys reach their goals on the field. Super, super exciting. Coach, um, a lot of guys have spoken highly of you so far. Uh, you know, how would you describe uh, the way you coach out, coach on, on the field? Yeah, I, that's a good question. I say I coach extremely hard and um, everything we do is extremely intense, but it's never personal. Um, you know, the coach is never personal. I'm just trying to help these guys be the best version of themselves. And then when we get in the meeting room, it's all conversation based. It's never a lecture based. And um, guys can ex express how they're feeling. Um, guys can express what they were thinking out there on the football field. So um, I will say these guys really get coached hard, but they know that my relationship with them is way bigger than football. And I think that enables me to be able to coach those guys hard and push them hard without, uh, without them uh, fighting it. Coach, uh, there's uh, obviously some big shoes to fill uh, this year. Who are some of the guys you're looking to to step up and, and fill some of those big shoes? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of guys, almost everyone have been playing their role and playing it really, really well. So I can't say any one, any one person is going to step up. I'm excited about the whole group. Um, you know, everybody from, from first year players to fourth and fifth year seniors, guys have made plays and guys have been practicing hard and blocking on the perimeter. That's all I can ask. So I'm excited about the whole group in general. Two-parter on Josh Youngblood. How, how has he looked physically in camp? And you talk about knowing these guys beyond the field, him dealing with his injuries last year. Just what did you see out of him and going through that process? And how did he learn to kind of develop in that stage when he was obviously pretty frustrated, I imagine, mm -hmm. not being on the field? Well, I think Josh Youngblood ep epitomizes what CHOP is, right? Just mental and physical toughness, focus and perseverance. He's been able to do that. His, his, his journey here has not been perfect, but he's bounced back and he's had the same attitude day in and day out. Great attitude, um, great leader. He's been doing a phenomenal job. So I've been impressed with him physically on the field and also off the field. Coach, you seem to have generated some early buzz recruiting wise. Can you just talk about your philosophy in terms of recruiting and your kind of approach to that aspect? That's a good question. I won't say it's anything that I do specifically. I mean, this program is led by Coach Yano, and I've watched him and the rest of the guys on our staff recruit at a high, high level the last two years, and um, it's all about relationships. And we have – the way we recruit, we recruit in teams. So I might be responsible for a kid's area, but I'm not the only one recruiting that kid. So uh, we collectively recruit, and the most important thing that I do and the rest of our staff do is build relationships. But it's easy to recruit when you got a head coach like Coach Yano uh, backing you. You can, you can name drop to him. Uh, you can name drop him on kids so um, I like to collectively recruit we collectively recruit and build relationships just uh, your time in the NFL with the Panthers I guess what did you learn as a coach that, that year and then and how did that kind of influence your coaching philosophy yeah that was a very very short short stint um, so um, you know I've had an opportunity to work with Matt Rule uh, prior to that um, at Baylor and at Temple and I learned a ton from him but that time in the NFL was very brief and um, I was excited when I had the opportunity to come work on the coach Yano. Statesman of the room. What has he been like on the field, kind of filling the role for, for Bo? And just what is, do you lean on him kind of as that experienced guy with all the new faces in the room? Yeah, he's been great. He's been great. He's the same guy every day. When you look at him out in practice, you won't, you won't look at a guy, you won't think you see a guy who um, has been playing football for as long as he has. He come out here with a, with a great approach, a great attitude, wanting to learn, he's flying around in a pass game, in a run game. So he's treating every day as if this is his first day and he's trying to make the first impression. So I'm extremely pleased with his progress. And I'm extremely pleased with his attitude that he's brought to the room.